Hello, it is day 60, May 13th today, and it is a beautiful day. We're doing some bigger miles today. We're about to be at a shelter that will have us 11 miles into our day, and it's just about one o'clock, so we'll be at a good spot for lunch. One thing I'm really enjoying today is the greenery and the different shades of green. How it's kind of light and then it gets dark and lightens up again at the top. And yeah, it's just been a good and beautiful day. Nice day to hike. Well, it's uh, a little bit in the afternoon here and we are working on our way up the, the hill. We just got on the little bridge. And one thing that's been really nice has been we've been getting doing about 11 or 12 miles and then stopping for our lunch break and taking a little nap and so it's been nice to be able to just put our feet up and um yeah put our feet up and be still for a little bit and i think that kind of gives us a little bit more energy in the evening too so that's really nice so we just got a little bit further we're gonna go we're probably gonna try to cook we're gonna try some couscous this evening so we're going to try to cook that up um, uh, before we get actually to camp. See if that will rehydrate well. And okay, we'll let you know. Just made it up here to Windrock. It sure is a beautiful sight out. Yeah, buddy. Good morning. It is May the 14th and we did 20 miles yesterday, which is another personal best for us. So we slept in a little bit today. We're not getting out of camp until a little until after 9, which is late for us, but it was a good rest. Yeah. <laughs> so we had a good day. We're not going to do quite as many miles today, just kind of taking it easy. Our feet are tired still. <laughs> we had a good day and we're looking forward to today. And you will be this afternoon. I don't know how late they, they do go. Kids said they had it until dinner. Till six? Mm -hmm. Well, we are just about six miles from camp this evening and it might be another late night, but uh, we've had a good day. We got some trail magic and um, we just ate a snack. So we've had food and food, and we both, I got a, a soda that we packed out, so that's going to be great. But um, we'll see where we end up tonight. And so it's been a good day. If your feet are giant, I still love you. <laughs> and the sound and made Huck a comment there, yeah. about that. And the Huck was there for that uh, fake argument we had. For sure. I'm sure last night they like stayed at the same place and he's going yeah. southbound. And he's just yeah. like, hey, like, you run into them. Like, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he was sitting at the campfire last yeah. night and they were just like. Alrighty, this here is the Kiefer Oak. It's the oldest oak tree in Virginia. It's a pretty big one. Estimate it to be about 300 years old. Just look at that monster. It's a pretty sight. Pretty cool. Out here at a little power line. I think it's just really pretty. How in the... Uh, ridges of Virginia. We just all see all these waves. Yeah. Looks like the earth is just wrinkled up. Hey there. So we're hiking along and we've had a good day so far stopping for a quick snack. But um, we were told that Virginia was flat and we've come to find that is not true and I'll show you proof again 
this is not flat. It's beautiful. It's a lot of fun, but there's definitely, definitely some hills and mountains. Right now, our path is kind of just a little bit of a rock scramble, but it has been good. You said he was rattling. He was, and I've I've heard rattlesnakes before, and um, I've never heard such a tin. It was such a high. Ugh. What are you? So this is our little pizza. We got our pesto, the string cheese, and pepperoni on a tortilla. I just fold it over and do that, and then we made some coffee, and I stuck some butter in it, and. We're having a good day for lunch. Hey there. So we are heading uphill again. We had an up and a down and a little flat and now up again. But yeah, but this has a very nice grade. So it's just easy to hike along. We're not panting quite as much as we do on some of the other uphills. Yeah, I'd say we're uh, running off to a good start. Well, we are on a little ridge here, and it's nice and nice uh, and green. We got a good uh, paved trail. And just just strolling along out here. We got on top of uh, this little ridge here, and we'll be on it for just a moment, and then we'll get down and probably hop up to another one. And so. Yeah, it's a nice, nice spot. The weather is cooperating with us and it's sunny, a little bit of a breeze, but it's not hot yet, so that's great. Good morning. It is day 64 on the trail and we are going to be hitting another milestone today, getting to another 100 mile marker, so we are pretty excited. Um, we stayed at a campsite last night by a stream that was by a road and kind of the runoff wasn't very good we filter it but we're stopping here at this little little stream to get us some more fresh mountain water so yeah we'll keep you updated as we hit a few more milestones today well we are just going uphill a little bit here and enjoying the kind of more dense forest that we've got and so it's really pretty uh, we don't know how far we're going to go today, but um, we'll hit Dragon's Tooth, and um, that's yeah, that's just really exciting here. It's a really neat area. So yesterday, as we were going along the trail, uh, a couple hikers were stopped ahead of us, and... Um, they saw a rattlesnake and so that was a interesting thing to see we were able to kind of scoot off trail a little bit and and uh, go around them and see them all coiled up at the corner of the trail where some unsuspecting hiker could have met his doom but uh we were able to shoo him off the trail and such so, but it was it was uh it was neat to actually see a rattlesnake for the first time out here. That's uh, not one I really want to encounter again by the surprise or otherwise. Well, we hit mile 700 and the AT is being difficult with us right now. And I think it's going to be difficult with us all day long. We get to scramble and scramble. Like we're just a bunch of eggs. Hope we don't get cracked. Oh gosh, I'm gonna delete that. Well, it's been a pretty good ridge walk. But it definitely is a tough one. I'm just doing a lot of climbing up and leg burning and uh, stuff. Yeah, she's just speechless with how amazing this this section is. Yep, yeah. still speed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
We're up here on Dragon's Tooth. And um, yeah, this is really, we have a beautiful view out here through uh, Catawba Valley. And oh, Hannah's coming, scooting down. So this here is our Dragon's Tooth site and it's is just a really pretty spot uh, on a clear day where if it wasn't so uh wet and rainy and drizzly we could climb up to the top of it here but it is it's just really neat over here we got a nice view of the valley we're gonna scoot down the mountain here to get some hamburgers and something but it's just a yeah, that's a bit of a truth. I almost climbed up there. She did. Or I climbed up there almost all the way. She almost all the way. She almost all the way climbed up to the top of the dragon's tooth. So now let's go down. Well, we've been walking through a tunnel of rhododendrons since like the beginning of the trail. And finally, they are blooming. I'm pretty happy. They are beautiful. You're beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know how else I can convince you that I think Virginia is just beautiful. But this sure does it for me. We're on our way downhill and it's not the easiest, but it's still fun. Get all those blooms there. It's uh, the trails kind of calmed down a little bit for us. We got a little bit more of what we're used to. We can handle it. Yeah, we can. <laughs>